Welcome back to Houston Life. It's a brand new restaurant and sports lounge in the third ward and there's a big name behind a very big name figuratively and literally NFL pro Michael Brockers went to high school in Houston before being drafted by the St. Louis Rams in the 2012 NFL draft. Now more than a decade later, he's starting a new chapter in life by opening a restaurant and sports lounge mm -hmm. sports lounge. Michael joins us now. Michael, it's so good to see you. I appreciate you having me on. Thank you. Hey, this is really cool. And I know something like this takes a lot of work. Mm -hmm. When you were first drafted in the NFL, I can't believe it's been more than 10 years. Could you have envisioned this moment in your life starting something totally new? Uh, not at all, because when, you know, early on when you're in football, you're thinking nothing but football. You're thinking about how can I get, you know, accomplish this dream. And then when you get there, you're like, okay, now it's all the pressure about not being a bust and wanting to be competitive and want to be one of the greats and stuff like that. So uh, for the most, most part, early on, I wasn't thinking about entrepreneurship. And then later around year eight, when you start to feel like, okay, I'm becoming one of the older guys in the league. And, <laughs> It starts to slow down. Then you start to have to figure out what else you want to do. And uh, I'm glad I, you know, had this idea. My, me and my partners had this idea, and we put it together. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. So you grew up in the Houston area. That's mm -hmm. your tie to Houston. You went to Chavez High School. Tell mm -hmm. us about your growing up here before you got drafted and, and why you, you know, appreciate and want to love on Houston so much. Um, you know, I'm a Houston native, man. I, I grew up, was born and raised in Houston. Um, my grandmother lived off of MLK and Griggs. So, um, you know, the third world third ward area is very familiar to me. Yeah. Um, I was always a guy who, who thought about giving back first. I was always, you know, we, we do youth camps. I do youth camps every year. Um, I always talk about giving back to my community. That's what's most important to me um, first. Another thing that's changed uh, since you were first drafted, mm -hmm. you're a dad now. Yes. Your yes. wife, Faith, we were looking at the office earlier. Your family is so adorable. Thank you. Uh, there's Aww. your beautiful wife right there. What's it like uh, being a dad to your young kids? Uh, all three of Look them, correct? Them. Yes, no, I have four. You have that four. Picture, mama was pregnant right Aww. there. So, okay. Um, I have four now, two boys, two girls. Um, it's amazing now just because I, I, I'm able to appreciate being in a house, you know, going and getting in the pool and taking them to uh, like our Saturdays are hectic in the morning. We're doing flag football, soccer. So it, it's a lot being a dad and, you know, being present and being there for them. It's a lot. Any advice for Logan and Zach? Ah, patience. You, okay. you will learn <laughs> patience as you go. Kids will, they will build patience into you, I promise you. So uh, if you don't have patience, you will after kids. Well, I can't wait, and I will take your advice on that. But mm -hmm. tell us about the opening, because mm -hmm. I, I feel like once it's open and maybe give myself like a month to re rebound, mm -hmm. I'll come by and bring Baby Decker and Zach and come check it out. For sure, for sure. I mean, we, we made this concept to be more of a elevated experience in Third Ward. Okay. You know, we wanted to bring a whole nother vibe to the area because when you go in our building you, you'll see um, it's nothing like you've seen on the block before it's very different it's very uh, like I say elevated upscale uh, feel when you walk in our building quad Houston a mm. premium restaurant and sports la sports lounge in the third ward uh, how'd you come up with the name um, it was, it's funny how, how we came up with it, but, you know, I went to LSU. I'm an LSU all right. uh, Tiger, former Tiger. So um, we had this area, you know, it, where all the kid, you know, all the students gathered called the quad. Um, with, with our building being so big, we have four different areas. I don't think the sheet said we have a cigar lounge as well called the Den. So it's the Den, you have the restaurant, you have the sports lounge, and we also have a patio. So we give, we're trying to give the, 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 all the world, you know, combined and then put it in one one section in one area so we're just trying to give uh, everything to the people super cool yeah what would you say to you know other athletes out there maybe wanting to start their own business I think that's super inspirational it's tough it's tough I, I didn't mean to cut you off but it's tough you know building your own brand it's a lot of things that go into it especially when you want um, like I you know in our concept we, we want to build service we want to you know have the best service in the area and the best um, um, food in the area so uh, building your own brand and you know having that concept uh, follow you it, it's tough Okay, so Quad Houston, it's an easy thing to remember. And what's cool is mark your calendars for this. So tomorrow's the official opening, yes, right? Yes, tomorrow's the official. And I official. love that y'all are doing a theme night for each day of the week. So check this out. Monday is an industry night. Uh, and also, I mean, you're one of the few restaurants 
open on a Monday. A lot of restaurants go dark on Mondays. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays, bachata, taco, and tequila night. Logan, you can have the tequila a month from now. Yeah, can't wait. Wine Wednesdays, Island Thursdays, R&B Fridays, mm -hmm. and then you've got live music every Saturday. So it sounds like a party around the calendar. We're trying to, you know, keep the, keep the city busy. You know, we want to be the new up-and-coming spot in Houston, and we want to be that tourist destination everybody wants to come to. We want people to come in the quad and, and want to come back to quad. Not just come for the experience, but come back to quad and, and be able to experience uh, all the other live shows and live things we're, we have going on. We love that. Double yes. date night soon, Logan. I can't wait. Michael Brockers, thank you so much for stopping Appreciate by Houston you Life. Thank you. And thank congrats. You for having me. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank Thanks, you. Michael. And we want to remind you that the grand opening weekend celebration for Quad Houston starts tomorrow mm -hmm. and goes all the way through the weekend. For more information, visit Seen on Houston Life section of our website.